Toba Enzima is on a journey once impossible. She's traveled from a poor shanty town in Swaziland, Africa, to bring a message of hope from her life of despair. I think I was three months pregnant when he died. You lost a son who was just eight years old. Yes. To AIDS. Yes. Toba, 35, also lost two partners to AIDS, and six months ago was herself near death from the disease. But after only a month of taking free antiretroviral drugs, she got better. My body started coming again. Here we have a quiet revolution going on, and yet there's not that many people who know about it. The stories of some two and a half million like Toba are now being told thanks to Jan Leiden. He gave up reporting from war zones to join the Global Fund, a huge international effort financing about 30% of the drugs to fight AIDS, a fight now gaining momentum. After 25 years of just helplessly watching people die, we're actually turning it around. The generosity of the American people so far is by far leading this effort. To get this good news story out, <laughs> Leiden teamed up with top photojournalists from the Magnum Agency, bringing to life stories like Toba's from all over the world. A photo exhibit in Washington, D.C., and nine creative films are part of a campaign designed to refocus AIDS awareness. We need the sustained funding. If fewer people died because of the awareness that these pictures bring, you will feel that you've done something. The success of this project is that you know, fewer people died, that fighting it is possible. Toba has come to the U.S. to show Americans in person what that means. So you have gone from a woman who's lost her child, yes. a woman who has faced the possibility of death, yes. to a woman who is making a difference in other people's lives. Being an example to other people, I'm very proud. Proud, alive, and with a future. Ann Curry, NBC News, New York. But then I said, ah, oh, work is work. I'm making a living for my kids too.